Howdy guys, IndiePixel here. And what I wanted to do was continue the Unity Tools series. And in this video, or at least in this little section, what we're going to do is we're going to build an object replacer tool. Okay. Now, these are one of your staple tools that you use all the time in uh, level design or any sort of like scene development. You always want to replace one object with another. So we're going to do a basic example of that just so you can get more comfortable with using Unity's editor API. So what I'm going to do is come in here and create a new folder and I'm going to call this the object replace video because I've already got my other version going here. And in here what I want to do is create another folder called editor. And the reason why we have to do that is because we're working on editor tools. So any sort of editor tool has to go inside of this editor folder so Unity can pick it up. Okay so what I want to do now is go into create a C sharp folder and I'm going to give this a name of IP uh, replace objects editor. All right, so this is going to house the core meat. And I didn't want to do that. Let's go back to Unity there. This is going to house the core meat of uh, the editor code. So the other thing that I like to do is I like to create menus for all of these types of tools. All right, you can see up here I have this menu option here and what it does is it launches the tool for me so it opens up an editor window and to do that we need to take advantage of the menu item attribute inside of unity but i don't necessarily want to put that inside of this particular script so what i usually like to do is i create another script right next to it and i just call it the same thing but with the menu suffix there okay so that way I know where all my menu code is and where all my editor code is. It's just a way to keep it nice and clean and separate it out. That way you don't end up with these editor scripts that have all the menus in them and it becomes really hard to organize all that. And we'll see that as we uh, move along here. So uh, what I'm going to do is pop open the replace objects menu here. All right. And I'm going to get rid of my previous ones there. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to come in here and I always like to put my code inside of namespaces. All right, so if you're not familiar with namespaces, uh, these are ways to categorize your code, basically, and keep it protected from other classes that might have the same name. Okay, so I put it underneath the indiepixel.tools. Think of it as a folder, so it's indiepixel, and then it have a subfolder called tools, and then all this code is going to fit inside that particular folder. It's a good way to kind of visualize it in your head. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to make a menu item first, all right, because this is going to be that menu item, that drop down that I just showed, that allows us to launch the tool. And in order to do that, we need to be using the Unity Editor namespace, like so, okay? And then from there, we have all the particular code that we need. We don't need this to be a mono behavior either. So what we can do is we can start typing out the attribute. So we use the square brackets for that, and we say menu item. And then we give it a path. All right, so this path will be uh, indie pixel. And we'll do, um, in this case, I already have a scene tools. So I want to make it a little bit different. So I'm just going to call it level tools. Uh, again, you can make it whatever you like. Okay. And then I'm going to call this uh, replace objects or replace selected objects. How about that? It's a little better there. All right, and so with that, we actually have a menu item. The last thing that we need to do is we need to associate a method with this, right? Because this particular attribute is going to be looking for the method right below it to launch. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to declare a public static void, and we're going to call this method uh, replace selected objects. All right, so there we go. And what I want to do now is just put down a debug log, just so I can see that this is working. So if this all worked, what should happen is whatever I type into here, whatever I put in as a string here, um, is going to be displayed in the console inside of Unity. So I'm just going to say uh, replacing uh, selected objects. Always got to put the exclamation marks in there. Makes it seem more dramatic. <laughs> all right, so. What I'm going to do is wait for it to compile. And if we did our job right, uh, we do have a level tools and we do now have a replace selected objects option in here. So if I were to go to a console here, all right, 
and come up to IndiePixel and say replace selected objects, we get a nice little log to the console. So we know that that method is working. So what we need to do now is get the window to launch. So I'm going to open up the editor script here. Okay. And I'm going to put it underneath that same uh, namespace, IndiePixel tools. So I'll put all my tools under here basically. And I am going to get rid of these functions because they are not valid in this particular place. Um, and what we need to do is we also need to utilize the using Unity editor namespace. That way we have access to all the editor API scripts and methods and classes and everything like that. So, all right. So with that in place, all we need to do now is turn this into an editor window because I want it to pop up, a, open a, a window. And to do that, we need to inherit from the editor window class. And this will give us a lot of built-in functionality to handle displaying a window inside of Unity. Okay, cool. So from here, what I usually do is I just lay out my regions. So I'm just going to put in a variable regions or region like so. And then I do the built-in methods, right? Because we're going to be using some of those built-in methods that are inside of the editor class. Okay, so I'm going to say end region. And then we're going to do a custom methods region. Yep, and then we want to close it. All right, so first thing we need to do, we need to make sure that we launch the window. All right, so when we go and press this particular menu option right here, we're going to fire off this function right here. And then whatever code is inside of that particular method is going to get executed. So what we want to do is we want to launch the editor window like so. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to provide a public static void and we're going to call this method launch editor like so all right cool and that is looking pretty good i'm getting some odd we have end region oh there it is that's what it is forgot to end the region there we go okay so now we are calling this particular method we're actually we haven't called it yet we should come back to our menu now and just say ip uh, replace objects editor dot launch editor and because we made it static we can access it now keep this in mind this class isn't static just the method inside of it so we can call that cool so from here what we want to do is we want to create the window and this is actually pretty easy. It's gotten a lot easier over the years um, inside of Unity. So all we need to do is just declare a generic variable. And I'm going to call this um, editor win. All right. And we're going to say get window. Now, this particular method comes with this editor window uh, class. And I want to give it a type. So we're going to say type. Oh, I should do it lower lowercase. Actually, I just need to give it the type that we're looking for. So it's going to be get window and of type replace objects editor. All right. And now you'll notice that this particular method has a bunch of overrides. All right. So we have nine overrides. So each one of these will change the functionality of your particular window. And the thing that we are really interested in right now, because I'm still trying to keep all this stuff basic. All right. Just so we get comfortable with this is the title. So I just want to give it a, a different title. So I'm going to say replace objects. And let's capitalize that for professionalism. Cool. All right. So with that, we have now a window, but it's just being stored in reference. It's just being stored inside of this particular variable. We actually need to do one more step to actually display it to the screen. Okay. So we need to say editor win dot show. Easy peasy. Cool. So that gets everything up and running. So let's go back to unity and test this out again. All right, so I'm going to come up to Indie Pixel, Level Tools, and Replace Selected Objects, and voila. We now have a window that has our title. It's getting cut off, too, which I never really liked. I wish it would just resize, but it doesn't. <laughs> so um, 
what we're going to do now is we're going to just get the basics of the UI going. So I just want to get something stubbed in just so I know that the UI is working as well. Okay, so let's close this down for now and jump back into Visual Studio here. And what we're going to do now, whenever this particular window is shown, all right, uh, what we can do is we can utilize the on GUI method that's built in, all right. And this on GUI method is going to be the method that controls all the UI for our particular editor window. So what we can do right off the bat is we can uh, draw a label to it. So I'm going to say editor uh, GUI layout dot label field. All right. And you can see that we have eight overrides for this one. Okay. A bunch of ways to stylize and customize the look. Um, all I really want to do is give it a label. So I'm just going to give it a string. I'm going to call it my label. All right. And then I want to give it a different look. And in this case, what we can do is we can utilize the built-in styles. So I'm going to say editor styles dot bold label. And you can see all these different styling features that come with it. So I'm going to say bold label. And that just makes it a bold label. All right. So there we go. Now we have our first UI element in place for our tool. So let's go back to Unity and check it out one more time. All right, so come up here, level tools, replace selected objects, and there we go. We now have a My Label. Now, one thing that we should do before I close out this particular video is we should uh, include the repaint call. All right, so that method right there that comes with editor window, and this will just help update the editor UI as things change in the scene. All right, so this will just help us update it. If you didn't put it in there, it wouldn't update until you clicked on the screen. Okay, so this is just causing it to, to update. All right, so with that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out the video there. And in the next video, we're going to start working on the functionality so that when we have, let's say, a bunch of cubes in our scene, um, what I can do is I can assign a prefab to uh, this particular window here and hit a button, and all the cubes will get replaced with a sphere if they're selected. Okay, thanks so much.